now to a KXOI 4 News exclusive. A first time ever look inside a unique program behind the walls of the Washington State Penitentiary, home to some of the state's most cr uh, dangerous criminals. But that isn't a story, this isn't anyone, anyway, is about life behind bars. It's a story about creating life behind the razor wire. And in a story you'll see only on KXOI 4, our Hawk Hammer brings us the story of four inmates working through their sentences in a very unexpected way. Hawk? Huh? Nadine, combined, the men you're about to meet will end up serving decades behind bars. One will die there. But in a place known best for maximum security, new life is forming in the hands of those criminals. Behind these walls, 2,500 of some of Washington's worst offenders eat, sleep, and breathe. Rapists, robbers, murderers, serial killers, all serving time. Behind these walls, time matters most of all. So I don't get out until 2045. But the clock... Right now it's looking at 33 years. ...can seem to stand still as life on the outside moves on. Life without the possibility of parole. At the very back of the sprawling 500-acre max security prison, though, there's a place where time moves a little faster, at least for 90 minutes each day. This was the last thing I thought I was going to be doing. Tucked back here in a building ringed with razor wire, something that softens even the hardened hearts of convicted criminals. Called my dad, and I was like, oh, I'm doing the butterflies. He's like, what the heck? Butterfly caterpillars. There's gold them butterflies, I tell you. Lots of them. I'm telling you, from when we had little eggs and just the little ones to now, I didn't realize there were not many eggs. Inmates like Talon, who's been behind bars here for two years now. Attempt to murder, kidnapping, six assaults. And Anthony, who's been in for more than 10. I was 26 years old when I caught my third strike. Their hands, once used to commit crime, now nurturing life. Well, we get to just see change, you know. We get to see them. Evolve. In a world where day-to-day -day routine never changes, in this room, change is everything. What started as a thousand eggs changed to caterpillars. Caterpillars changed to chrysalis. Chrysalis will eventually, in time, turn into butterflies. In this case, the most royal of all. What we're doing here is to help them like uh, repopulate and stuff. These inch are so long, black and yellow caterpillars will become monarch butterflies, a species known for its thousands of mile long migrations. So we're actually helping them, you know, grow and, you know, exp ooh, expand. That's the thing, they're durable. Once released from this prison, they'll fly south for the winter before hopefully returning to lay eggs. Oh, so they go and do their thing out there and then they probably come back. But time has not been kind to the monarch. Environmental change has caused their populations to plummet. And knowing that, these inmates, who start out with some uncertainty. It, at first, I thought it was, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, all right, let's go do it, you know, whatever. Eventually fully commit. Then I'm kind of like, all right, this actually isn't too bad, you know? Their efforts have earned them a nickname, known prison-wide. I look out for them. I've got to be responsible for them. They are the butterfly wranglers. Uh, they give you something to care about, you know, they give you something like a self-worth. Enabling a metamorphosis that couldn't be more symbolic. Well, I get a little overly aggressive, you know what I'm saying? It's just, the, the place is really testosterone filled and I, and I feed into that stuff. Uh, but being here, I've learned to channel it into something else. And as they grow, I grow. You know what I mean? Every inmate plays a part. We have to use the paintbrush and the, and the felt, you know, to transfer them, and you just transfer it over to the new milkweeds. But it all starts with Adam. He's in for a murder he says he didn't commit. But here... I'm the milkweed guy. Milkweed being the only food these monarch caterpillars eat. He wraps the cut stalks in paper towels and places them in bottles so they stay fresh. Well, I go through anywhere between 50 to 100 bottles. It's a task that he takes a lot of pride in, something he can hang on to when his days darken. It keeps me from committing suicide. I'm pretty suicidal. Uh, These future butterflies representing something more, something more than just bugs, potential but also painful realization. They fly away and you never get to see them again, but at least they get to fly away. For many of the inmates here, they will get out and follow the path of those butterflies. Okay, did I learn or am I just gonna completely repeat the old habit? And that's, that's just what I've been working on. But some, like Anthony, never will. 
all of them, though. Hey, does anyone need any more milkweed? Have changed. I mean, it's all how you, you know, how you do your time, how you make of it. I've learned more about myself now than I have in my whole life. It's, it's pretty crazy. These men with violent pasts now giving a future to a struggling species. They're, they're really beautiful creatures. You know what I mean? Time, for now at least, well spent, and a title proudly worn. We are butterfly wranglers. I think it is the best. I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News.